Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We're talking about Road to the Final Cards today and just the market as a whole as it is flying. Like everything on this market is high right now. I want to talk about that. And also, Team of Your Cards going out of packs today on Tuesday. And as well, a new card design that was re added to the code last night. Footwatch tweeted this card design out right here. And if you do not remember what this is, this is the end of an era car design. Now, this car des design was actually put out earlier this year. It was already in the code. Again, uh, Footwatch said that this code was taken out and then was put back in for this card design. So that makes us think, and of course, when we think end of an era, there is one player that has just recently finished his career and has called it quits. We've had end of an era or flashback SBCs for him before, and that is Mr. Wayne Rooney. If EA want to create some more hype in this game and try to maybe resurrect the, the team of the year promo that was very lackluster this year, this might be a way that they could go ahead and do that. Also, it would be the perfect time for EA to drop a big SBC like this because once again, SBC fodder is through the roof. It is crazy high. The only thing that was low were 83s and 84s. And with yesterday's content with those double 83 defender, attacker, and midfielder packs, this stuff has risen. So now all SBC fodder is back up again. If you invested GGs, uh, you're making mad profit, right? And again, I would consider maybe even holding these cards a bit longer because what supply is going to come until later this week? It honestly, week in league rewards time frame that's going to push this stuff down. Honestly, you can keep, I would expect, and if we get a Wayne Rooney SBC today, again, that's why I said it would be a perfect time because the SBC fodder is so high. If they, if they make Wayne Rooney have like 86, 87 rated squads, that's going to be an expensive SBC because you just look at how much some of these 87s and 88s and 89s are right now on the market. They're just crazy, crazy expensive, right? If we go take a look at the Bruno Fernandez Player of the Month SBC, because that's kind of our barometer for how high SBC fodder is. This guy's 1.157 million coins. He was 915k earlier last week when SBC fodder was cheap, right? So that is just a testament to what is going on in this game with prices everywhere flying, right? You can see Wayne Rooney is one of the most popular players on FIFA right now because people are expecting this SBC. Now, it could come today. We didn't have a player SBC yesterday on Monday. They've been kind of doing this every other day for most of the past week and a half. Every other day, we get a player SBC. So that might be content we see today. I'm not saying it's guaranteed. I'm saying it's possible. And um, it, again, it's going to be an expensive SBC regardless because you know EA Sports, they're going to make that very pricey. They know people have a lot of coins right now in this game. And what are people doing with those coins? They're doing SBCs. They're interacting with the content that is left over in FIFA and they're buying cards. There are a lot of people who are investing with those coins right now as well. And that's what I want to talk about with Road to the Finals because these guys are flying. They're going literally through the roof, right? Uh, Rebbage to the moon. Is that the new thing that's happening <laughs> in FIFA with all these cards? It's kind of crazy, kind of a play on the actual stock market uh, from stuff that went down last week. But Rebbage is 152K. This guy was like 120. Pogba is up 100K. Wijnaldum is up a bunch. Varane is 1.6 mil. I was telling you guys about this in the last few days. We knew Road to the Final Cards were going to be where everybody turned to invest. And that again is the case. Now, of course, one thing that I'm worried about right away with these cards is over investing. And I think that possibility is very real with a lot of these items. Sissoko was 1.2 mil. Remember when I was talking about Koulibaly being 580k? He's up 100,000 coins. Even the most like unusable road to the finals that really nobody likes to play with in this game that haven't moved around for weeks. This guy, Draxler, went from 46,000 coins. He's up basically 10,000 coins purely based off of people wanting to invest because they know these games are two weeks away, right? We are now in February, so that means Champions League is coming around once again. This Rashford was 900K last week. He's up 200K. Davies had a crazy rise because of, of course, how expensive his uh, Team of the Year card is. Now, the only card that I see in here right now that is still kind of like low, in a sense, is this Oblak. And he's actually up like 15 to 20K, but he's still lower than what he was earlier this year. He was over 300,000 coins for a bit, a minute. Uh, but that was before the whole Bo Boateng and the Neuer situation happened in FIFA. So 
I do think there is a bit of overinvestment that's going to be happening with these cards. But of course, these guys are so rare that what's really going to make them drop? If, if you're somebody who invested in these Road to the Final cards and you're making a lot of profit right now, I still don't think that you really want to sell because in all honesty, these cards are so rare and people are going to be holding on to these Road to the Final investments uh, for a while. They're going to be holding on to them for a while. That's a nice little undercut right there on uh, Zakaria, but... Uh, he's really not even that flippable. 239, I mean, I've got like 12 cab tax here. Uh, it's not really profitable, so I'm probably not going to buy it. But uh, yeah, these Road to the Final cards, I'm probably not going to get interested in them because honestly, yes, they could go higher, but with so many people that have invested, I'm a bit scared, right? You know, I don't like when I see stuff that's already been invested in so much that has already increased in price a crazy amount. Now, people that bought these cards, they're going to be willing to hold. People that bought these Road to the Finals that have games in two weeks are going to be very willing to hold because they know that when those games happen, that's when the potential upgrades happen and these cards go up even more in price. So over the next couple of weeks, with whatever promos that we have come out, we're still going to have to keep an eye on these cards. Like if Future Stars comes out this Friday and it causes the market to drop a little bit and some of these Road to the Finals drop down in price, that's going to be an area where we're going to have to keep tabs on because that's going to be a possible you know, quick flip. These guys are so, so rare in FIFA. It's been this way the past couple of years. They have like no pack supply whatsoever. It's kind of wild. Um, so that's one thing that I want you kind of, I want you guys to keep in mind as we go out through these next couple of weeks that these cards are very rare and a lot of people have them stacked in their teams and on their transfer list. And that is just potential. What is this? And Diddy is 276 just sitting there and the next one's at 284. Man, these guys are so rare. It's crazy. Anyway, um, that's, you know, what's going to really affect these cards prices is just the promos. And if there is an opportunity to buy one on a low, it's going to be a fantastic time to do so. Because if it's a meta card, and especially if they have a good matchup, right? It all depends on which cards have good matchups and which ones are, you know, OP and, um, you know, favorable in, in meta in FIFA that a lot of people like to use in their teams. Um, that's the kind of stuff that you want to be looking at for drops with these cards. Muhammad Salah is 1.8 million coins for his right wing Liverpool item, which is insane. It's really, really high. It's really, really insane. So yeah, man, that's just like the whole point. Honestly, the entire market is just really high right now, unless it was stuff that was kind of panic sold off. Um, you know, like some of those older team of the week cards or some of the headliners. Let's get, let's get a check in on these real fast. Holland's 535. He's moving up. Gretzka 732. Teo Hernandez 735. So basically all live cards in this game bounced back incredibly. Even the Boateng, I think the Boateng SBC went away. Um, this guy was in the 180s after his game on the weekend, coupled with weekend league sell-off. Upa Meccano, of course, maybe a little bit of a rise involved with Sabitzer, um, but just a crazy bounce back on some of these Bundesliga center backs that were live items. If you bought them when they dipped low when Boateng came out, we knew that they would rise. And you're finally seeing that happen, right? Goretzka was 670 after the law, or after they technically they won their fourth game, but he was overinvested, so he dropped. We knew that was going to be a buy. He's back up to 730,000 coins on that card. It's all about the live items in this game. It really is. Bamba was down to 520. He's back to 560. Live item. Fabinho's 230. 230. What a bounce, man. What a bounce on these live items. That's why we were talking about bounces post team of the year, that the live items, the headliners and road to the finals would have the best bounce. And we are exactly seeing that is the case. Now, a lot of stuff on the market still, you know, some stuff's a little bit low. Some stuff is still pretty high. It all just depends on, again, the links to that Ronaldo, the links to that Boateng SBC um, and team of the year cards really flew. Team of the year cards really really bounced we saw it happening last night it continued into to into today ramos is 2.12 million coins davies is almost 2.1 messi is 5.2 crazy rise remember last night in the video we were looking at Neuer at 500k he's up to 530 if you got some of him at like 480 that was a huge buy alexander arnold's almost 1.2 mbappe 7.2 ronaldo is 9 mil so all of these cards are up a lot and that again i think it just goes in the in the, the fact is people if they didn't buy them when they wanted to on the weekend when they were low Sunday night again is a time when so many people just look at the market and they say this is my time to buy and they go out and they buy cards I was looking at this inform Neuer as well how much above 200k is he now um he's still right around oh really still right around 200,000 coins which is kind of interesting to me 
Um, if I saw this guy in the mid 190s again, I would get interested because again, the Boateng link is is really really important uh, with this card. And of course, since his team of the year is up about 30,000 coins from where it was, um, I'm sort of interested in that as well, right? Since this card's rising, then I would think the inform would rise as well. So keep an eye on that kind of stuff for sure. You know, right now it's really not a time to invest on the market by any means. Now is again, just a time to trade flip and to trade and to watch fluctuations on icons on special cards especially those really really rare items um, that a lot of people want to use in their teams right now and they have the coins to be able to go out and splurge and splash the cash on a lot of these cards so that's why um that's why you saw the road to the final cards move up now i do think there's a possibility they could be over invested and there might be an opportunity for a sell-off uh later in the next couple weeks or so it just depends but as it looks right now, what you're seeing is uh, just the market's flying, SPC fodder is flying, and if EA would somehow release a Wayne Rooney SPC, um, what would that do to the market as well? Of course, Wayne Rooney at Derby County, he would just have the English links because they're in the EFL Championship, uh, the second tier league in England, so he wouldn't get a lot of green links. So again, you would probably see some of those English icon cards um, probably have a little bit of a boost in price maybe guys like gerard you know maybe the prime or the middle the icons with the of course those those uh english links would be something i would definitely look into because of course people have been using a lot of the english icons with tavernier this would be another scenario where english icons could get another boost in price with more people wanting to go and use them uh if there was an sbc rooney that would come out as an attacker Maybe they would try to link like an icon with Rooney and Tavernier somehow on their team and get some chemistry that way. But again, EA has a huge opportunity here with the end of an era card design. And since they re-input it into the code, yes, it's been out before as what Footwatch said. It has not been used this year, I don't think. I don't think we've had an end of an era SBC released this year in FIFA. So that would be a brand new card design. Uh, and since they re-entered it in the code, that would make me think that there's a possibility that that card would be coming out like today. Like there would be an end of an era card that would be coming out today in FIFA for sure. So uh, yeah, we have these defender upgrades, of course, that go away with a full team of the year is going away tomorrow or today. Sorry, full team of the year is going out of packs today on Tuesday. Last chance to pack a team of the year if that's something you're interested in trying to. Uh, I only am basically on Kimmich right now. Kimmich is the only card that I've packed. And um, yeah, this is my squad at the moment after team of the year right was able to craft dibala ronaldo i'm gonna i'm about to finish bruno fernandez uh packed kimmich and then did the boateng sbc as well so you know i spent about a million coins a little bit less than that and i came out with all of these cards in my club um and basically bruno 92 is going to be done as well um trying to figure out how i can get fakir in this team uh we're probably just going to use him as a super sub but packed him as well so that was kind of cool so team of the year was a big success for me if you kind of look at it that way i know a lot of you guys were able to craft icon sbcs and do stuff like that during team of the year uh with the upgrade packs that you were smashing and now we're in that second half of the year of fifa ultimate team where it's kind of like we're looking towards you know promos almost every single friday with new and just kind of fun cards that they usually put out um well so i'm interested to see how ea kind of backs up team of the year because team of the year was just bleh right just was not very good i'm really curious to see with sbc content with promo content how they keep the train rolling into 2021 and into the new the new month and of course the new year um in the second half of fifa in like the calendar cycle of fifa so again right now is a perfect time to be trading on the market of course with the amount of coins that people have we talked about that we'll talk about that later on this week as well what kind of stuff you can trade with uh we have icon moments coming up maybe winter refresh shapeshifters is in february last year i believe um of course future stars probably coming this friday so Today is kind of the end day for team of the year though. And it just kind of marks the end of a very important uh, period the biggest promo in FIFA uh, of the year, honestly. So we're kind of heading out of that in, into something new. So EA could really spice it up today if they do drop a little end of an arrow Wayne Rooney SBC. EA, it's your move, it's on you. Let's see what they do, boys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Account and I'll catch you guys later. Peace out.